Um, good morning, everybody. Now, I posted a, a video about the winter people on Friday, right? Well, it was just what I thought of the book. But this will be an in-depth analysis of the, the winter people. But it may have some spoilers, too. So, Cass is being naughty girl now. Cass Marie... Be naughty girl. Cass, give me the remote. Give me the remote. Overall, the book is good. You know, I give it four books out of five. There was uh, some misphrasing in the book. But overall, the, the book itself jumps back and forth between 1908 in the present time and that being said in in 1908 it's Sarah Sarah Harris and Shay that loses her daughter Gertie and her husband Martin and in all reality um, what happens is is that Martin, Martin thinks that, be right back, Cass got the ball. There we go. Um, Martin, her husband, Sarah's husband, thinks she's losing her mind because of something called the sleepers. Her auntie has given her uh, a piece of paper that's in an envelope sealed she can't she can't look at this until she's ready um so she she knows she's ready because she wants to she wants her gertie back and it it re, it's a lot like pet cemetery in that way meaning that you once you once you activate that's really weird where to put it but once you put into motion the sleeper um they they'll be walking the earth you know they'll be walking for seven days and then they're they're gone permanently something happens where you can oh i i believe it's that if they feed in other words if they start eating human you know, it's like <laughs> Pet Cemetery meets Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> you know, they they will they will they will continue to live if they feed. Uh, so back and forth when when the book starts, um, you. Ruthie's being a normal 19 year old. She's going out. She's having fun. All this other stuff, right? And the following morning, you know, she's got like a buzz on because she she drank a lot the following night. And her younger sister, Fawn, was like, "Where's mother? Where's mother?" I'm like, well, she's in her bedroom, isn't she? You know, but no, no one can find her. So, um, she she me she, you know another another guy by the name of buzz comes into the picture and and all of them are helping out right so it turns out that well here's a spoiler that gertie well gertie fell down the well from back in 1908 and, yeah and there's there's diary of 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 Sarah O'Shea, Harrison O'Shea, and in the in that is how the 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 sleeper will come into to play, you know, how you can activate all that. So what happens is that there are some slow, slow parts to the book. Overall, it's a pretty good book. There is some slow parts to it, but it continues to go. 
you know, there's, there, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of back and forth to 1908 to the present time. And it's like, okay, all right. Because you, I got confused because I'm like, how can someone be driving a car in 1908? <laughs> Until I saw... And until I'm like, oh, I'm not reading about Ruthie anymore. I'm reading about uh, Sarah and Martin, you know, back in 1908. So it's it's got two timelines. I thought I had three originally because they introduced Catherine in there. But it seems like, well, Catherine is related to the other two it seems like Catherine is related to the other two, um, two people that Fawn and Ruthie find in the closet. You know, like when you walk into a house, you have a closet, you put stuff away in the closet, like your jacket and everything else, right? Well, anyhow, there's a secret passageway in that closet that they found all this stuff in like a camera wallets um i forget what else but anyway though you know the, those items you know you find out these two people and later on you find out that well later on in the book almost to the end of the book that gertie killed her parents she ate her parents <laughs> I'm, it's not funny it's it's not funny but in order for in order for a sleeper to survive all these you know 100 years oh i heard a bird she's got to feed so um ver the very end of it is that she Her mother, they find her mother in this cave. You know, it's a really big cave. It's got everything in it. Not only that, but um, it's got a bed, I'm guessing, for them to sleep over. And I'm guessing that Gertie does not sleep because she's no longer human. She's like a, <laughs> a zombie, basically. <laughs> I mean... But, but seriously, what would you do? I mean, if you've ever have a loved one that goes, you know, that passes away or dies, I mean, your own daughter, for heaven's sake, um, what would you do? I mean, I mean, my mother passed away in November of 19, right? And there hasn't really been a day that has gone by that I'm like, what would you do for another day? What would you do for another day? That's the, the beginning premises when I first started reading the book. It's like, hmm, it makes you wonder what you would really do. You know, because because when, you're, when your loved one passes away to begin with, I didn't think I could really read it to, to start with when, once I was reading through those passages. It's like... <laughs> Hold on. Because I thought it would be um, hard for me because, you know, I was so close to my mother. But I forged on. I continued. I, I wanted to see, you know, I wanted to see it. I wanted to see more and more. Um, and I get Cass is playing with the pillow. See? She's being a naughty girl. So yeah. Um, again, what would you do if you could have, there she is again. <laughs> what would you do if you could spend more time with your loved one? Especially nowadays. I mean, even in, in um, our pandemic, what would you do if you, you could spend more time with your loved one. Um, yeah, it's 
it's a it's a very good decision most of us would say yeah 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 so um again the winner people i get four four bucks out of five there she is again um let me know what you think of my review of of the book and <clears throat> um I'm hoping that my next, the other book that I'm reading is a lot better than, than what I gave it. Actually not in the middle of it, but I am um, reading this one. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy your Sunday morning and daylight savings time. I think it's daylight. I've, I, honestly, I get messed up on that. But anyway, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Wouldn't you guys agree that Kaz is being naughty? Just to let you all know, that remote, that remote is a replacement. I know she wants to P-L-A-Y.